So let's see if we can get an alert on my phone. Here we go. Press the button. It turns blue. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, you already know what to do. Turn that bell on so you are subscribed to the channel. So as you guys do know, I recently bought my very first house, guys. And I'm gonna tell you, like, I've been working on some things behind the scene, and I've been working on some other things behind the scene. But I'm gonna tell you, um, since I've been here, man, I've been here for almost two weeks now, guys. I finally got my other place all cleaned out, but I still been going back and forth over there, making sure, you know, that I got this done, that done. That way when we do like my exit walkthrough, everything is legit, everything is Gucci, everything is fine. So since I've been moving, like since I lived in this house so far, man, for a couple weeks, like it's in a whole new neighborhood. Um, I'm in an area where all of these homes is like new, new, newer built homes. And the reason why I bring that up is because with these newer built homes, um, on the doors, you can't see outside the doors and you can't see inside. So basically the issue that I'm having is I got a lot of people knocking at my doors, man. Like every single day. Today is actually Sunday. This is Sunday. I got people still knocking at my doors, man. But I had a scare the other night that really pushed me to make a decision, a very, very fast decision. And I decided that I'm not gonna, you know, wait too long to act on a decision that I made. And so one of the most recent things that happened is while I was in the process of actually moving my stuff in the house. Now, mind you guys, I had movers out here literally with big old trucks unloading my stuff, bring it in the house. And I had people walking up to the door during the process of the move trying to sell me stuff. Now, in my house, in addition, when you first pull in, it clearly says no soliciting or no solicitating. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to pronounce the word wrong because boy, you pronounce something wrong over here, boy, you always got that one person that's going to say it's pronounced this. So no soliciting or no solicitating. But they just start knocking at the door, trying to say, uh, who are you with AT&T, Verizon, uh, Xfinity, Frontier. It's like, whoa, sir, I'm not being rude, but I just moved in. Then another person knocked at my door saying, hey, we want to test your water to test the softness of your water. We need to come in. Then I got another person pulling up saying, yo, we need to come in your house and check your meter because we can install a meter that's going to be cost efficient and this and that i'm like it's a brand new home that was just built so the other night what's today sunday so friday night friday night i'm in the house you know i'm chilling watching movies or whatever eating dinner watching movies somebody rings my doorbell now mind you it's like 9 30 at night so it's not extremely crazy late but it's too late for somebody to be ringing your doorbell talking about they need to come in your house and check something so when i heard the door what let me let me go back it wasn't about 9 30 it was like eight it was a little bit after eight but it was still dark you guys know this time of year it gets dark really really early so i go to the door right i kind of walk to the door to the side and i kind of put my head to the door i said who is it can i help you they said oh you had an appointment to have your water tested, the softening of your water, we need to come in for like 10 minutes just to run some tests. Now mind you guys, it's a something at night. I can't see that person on the other side of the door, nor can they see me. Now the way that my door made, I'm gonna show you guys. It's like shadow proof, like you can't even see my shadow. Like if I have the hallway light on and I'm walking to my door, they can't actually tell that I'm walking to the door. So that's actually good for me because I've heard stories where people walk to their door and pow, something stupid happened, people shoot to the door. So I said, you know what? I'm sick of this. I got people constantly knocking at my door, constantly ringing my doorbell, constantly selling my stuff. 
I constantly trying to sell me stuff. So I said, what can I do about the situation? So I called this company out to my house for security cameras. So they come out to the house. I said, well, I want to get an estimate on how to, you know, possibly get like a ring doorbell camera because my doorbell is the regular, you know, press the button doorbell, whatever. Good Lord. As usual, I'm getting spammed up while I'm trying to vlog. But so the guy comes out, he says, well, he, he comes out with another guy. He says, well, we got this package. We got this package. We got this package. We're going to run your credit. It's going to be a soft credit inquiry, this and that. And get it. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. All this just to have a ring door camera installed? I'm like, that's a little bit too much. So I did my own thing, and I'm going to show you guys what I did in a few minutes. But first... I've been hearing some little noises at night and I've been real curious. Two weeks I've been in my house, I've never actually been up there yet. That, you guys see, I'm in my garage. I have not been up in that attic yet. So I'm real curious to go up there. I'm not an attic type of person because I do not like spiders. So I just had a bunch of stuff right here. I moved out the way and I'm about to really go up here for the first time ever. I don't know if I'm gonna walk all the way up there, but I'm gonna go up here and see what's up because like you can hear stuff at nighttime. Like if like last night it was extremely, extremely windy. It was really windy last night, guys. And it's like I heard so much noise. I hope my car's not parked too close. I heard so much freaking noise coming from the attic, man. And I'm just thinking to myself, is something up there loose or something? So let's see, I gotta pull these stairs down. I think I got the car far enough out the way where I could actually go up these stairs. It's dark up there too. I see, so the string, I guess this is as far as it's coming down. So I gotta pull these legs down. I'm actually gonna set this down for a second. We got it, guys. Good Lord. Jeez. Here's the crazy thing. I have to go up here because like everything that's installed up there, I have a five year warranty on it. But if I go up there, I got to get the numbers off of it, go online and apply. And then I get like a 10 year warranty on all the stuff up there. But I'm just going to just take like a look up there real quick. Man, I'm like 200 and something pounds. I hope I don't slip and fall. And I hope it's a light up here too. Oh shoot, I'm scared of heights too. Oh wait, there's a switch right here. Maybe this is the switch right here. Oh yes, there we go. Let there be light. Okay, I'm still scared. Look, <laughs> I'm not even that far off the ground. I'm still scared. I wonder why it was so hard for it to come down. Oh shoot, this is my first time up here in my own attic. I guess I need to get to know my house though, right? Wow, look, this is all an installation. It's that. Y'all ever watched that movie called Obsessed with Beyonce and Idris? I can't remember how to pronounce his name the proper way. But anyway, ooh, I don't want to show that as my address on it. Okay, so this is the furnace right here. Let me step on this floor. Okay. Okay, cool. So this thing, I have, ain't got, I left my phone downstairs. I got to take pictures of the information on the side of this thing to be able to file for my warranty so I can have a 10-year warranty instead of a five-year warranty. Wow, this is my first time in this attic. This box has my address on it, but I don't know what's in it. What is this? It look like some type of... They sound pretty cool. I'm not for sure what that is. Anyway. It looks like if I needed to walk around in some of these areas, I could walk over here. This attic is not as creepy as some attics that I've been inside. It actually has a lot of room where you can actually move around up here without hitting your head on the ceiling. Wow, it goes all the way over there. 
So I'm eventually going to come back up in this attic again soon to be able to get these numbers off the things I need. But another thing that brought me up here when I came up in this attic, when I called the security people out for the cameras the other day, one thing that they mentioned was that in order for them to install cameras above the garage, they have to come up in the attic and be up here doing something. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. First of all, I don't like hikes, man. Look, I feel like I'm way up in the air. So I'm gonna go down here and show you guys what I bought to try to bring some type of security. By the way, guys, as you guys can see, yeah, boy, got him some chicken wings in the sink. I have them already marinating. Well, I guess you can say what well, I call that marinating. I got the seasoning salt on there, the Old Bay seasoning, the black pepper. But over here, guys, as I was trying to tell you earlier, my front door, man. So when somebody rings my front door, they can't really see me like walking to the front door, but it's scary. So what I would do is when I walk to the front door, if I hear the doorbell ringing, I would do one of these numbers. Oh, is it dark right here? I would do one of these numbers just in case. Like, I'd be like, who is it? And so I don't like that because outside my door, it's just a regular doorbell, man. It's like, I can't see anything. This is it right here, man. I can't see anything. That's it. All I hear is the doorbell. So after doing some thorough investigation, I went through my neighborhood and I noticed a lot of people in my neighborhood, they have these doorbell ring cameras up right here outside their door. So that way when someone rings the doorbell, they can actually see them. Right now, I can't see anything. And that's the reason why what I'm gonna show you guys, I made the decision to go ahead and do it because I'm not worried about my, you know, like somebody's after me. Again, I don't have enemies. I have some people who don't like me, but as I said before, they only like, they don't like me because the other people don't like me. So what I did was I went out and purchased this ring doorbell right here by Blink. Now, mind you, when the guys came out the other day from the security place to install my ring doorbell, they wanted to run credit checks or they called running a soft credit check just for something like this. All it is on a doorbell is basically the mounting bracket. There's two wires that you have to disconnect from the original doorbell. Uh, you wanna first download the app on your phone, get it all downloaded and all that stuff so it works. Then, so this one has the option of being battery operated. You can use batteries to operate this or you can use the hard wire. So I went with the universal, which means I have the batteries for it, but I'm going to be using the hard wire to make it better. Now, the only difference between this, the hard wire and using the batteries is that you got to constantly change the batteries. I don't care how good the batteries is, energizer, door cell. So I said, well, I need some tools. I haven't bought any tools since I lived in my house. I've had, I haven't had any tools since I was married. I had like everything, the tool set, the dual drawer, but with all the moving over the years, I lost everything. And besides, when I bought this house and I did my empty home tour, I told you guys that I wanted to put a big old television right there where that picture is at. So the plan is coming together. So I said, well, I got this ring doorbell camera that I didn't have to have my credit report ran on and all this. So I just need something different to install that ring door camera. So I finally went out and bought my very, very first tool set from my new house. <laughs> so I went to Walmart today. So, yep, so let me, let me go back. So I bought this right here. This is what they wanted to run credit on to get me approved to have something like this installed. So I went to Best Buy yesterday, guys, Saturday, today, Sunday. I went to Best Buy. I bought this right here for less than $50, guys. I bought this without my credit check being ran and everything. That's why I say these people, man, they're some freaking scammers, bro. There are some scammers. All it is is just a simple doorbell. They want to charge me six or $700 to install a freaking ring doorbell. So I said, you know what? When I was out, when, when, I, when I had a house years ago, I used to do my own work. You just YouTube it. So I went to Walmart and I bought my first little kit for my house. And this is gonna help me get this ring doorbell 
installed. So I went and bought this. This was like 30, this was like $49 or something like that. So with this and the tool set, less than a hundred bucks guys, I can install my own ring door camera and I have my own tool kit. I picked the one, this is the Hyper Torch right here. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, I did a video last week with me looking at like Hyper Torch lawnmowers, Hyper Torch um, tree trim, uh, weed whackers. So this right here is very convenient. It came with not only the drill, it came with the drill bits that I need to drill the holes in the concrete. And I have some uh, additional like little bits and stuff that I can use for miscellaneous stuff like that. So this is something that I can use forever. And this is actually the rechargeable drill. So 20 volts, this is really good. So I can use this for putting the holes in the wall over there. I don't like to put holes in the wall when I live any place because you know, when it's time to move out and you wanna get your deposit back, you're not gonna get it back. They're gonna deduct it from the holes in the wall and blah, 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 dirty carpet. But since this is actually my home, I'm gonna be drilling holes in the wall. So it, this also came with a measuring tape, which is gonna be very, very needed for when I do my measurements for mounting my television on the wall. As you guys know, I've never actually had a TV mounted on the wall inside my own place. So um, as it comes with the crescent wrench, a 16 um, foot measuring tape, it has the adjustable universal screwdriver kit. It has a hammer, it has the pliers, and it has the needle nose uh, pliers that I use for fishing a lot. So, oh, it also came with, I'm not for sure what this is. Okay, this is the charging system. This is the charger for this drill right here. Open up, uh, yep, full drill charger. And it also came with a little carrying bag, which I most likely I'd just be storing the tools in this bag for now but since i do finally have a house now i'm going to go ahead and buy myself a um tool drawer not now but in the near future i'm gonna buy me a tool drawer so what i'm gonna do guys is i'm about to go ahead and get my drill put on the charger and get it nice and charged up and i'm gonna do my own electrician work around here starting with this uh ring doorbell camera i'm really excited because there's nothing like somebody ringing your doorbell and you can't even look out the window to see who it is there's nothing like somebody ringing your doorbell and you can't even see what's on the other side of your door man that is some pretty scary stuff but comment down below if you guys ever been in a situation like that where you had to actually open your door to answer it to see who's on the other side of it i you know i know i don't know about you guys but i know i'm gonna feel a whole lot more comfortable after today or after i get this installed it's like in the evening time now so i may have a good two hours of daylight left to get this bad boy put on the charger get it charged up it may already have some power to it and i'm gonna go ahead and start taking this doorbell off and seeing if I can get this going because the last thing that I need is to have a stranger outside my door and I actually open that door to see who it is and have a gun waved in my face. And I know by doing this, I'm gonna save a lot of money because I didn't say earlier, when the people came out to about the camera installation, they not only wanted to run credit checks and stuff like that, but they also charged a monthly fee for a maintenance fee to be able to like stream, like you can see like the live feed. But with this whole kit right here, less than a hundred bucks, there was no hard inquiry on my credit or they said soft inquiry, but we know how that stuff is. An inquiry is an inquiry. So I better save myself a whole lot of money over the next 10, 20 years, whatever years I got left in my body, whatever much time that the Lord gives me left here. Well guys, I think I got the camera installed, right guys? It took me maybe an hour, an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes, guys. So the tools I bought today was more than effective. And now that I got that camera installed, I can potentially start taking those measurements for that wall to put the television up there. I said I was gonna go with a 75 or 80 inch television, but in reality, guys, that television right there is a 65 inch television. I may actually go ahead and get the mounting bracket for this television and mount that television on the wall or I may put that in the bedroom and put 
my other television is in my bedroom in one of my guest rooms and who knows man in the near future i may actually get another television speaking of television guys i went out and bought a television i already forgot a couple weeks ago i bought a television for my son's room for when he comes over and i still haven't took that thing out the freaking box look at that oh it blurred up this my uh, i bought this television for my son's room obviously y'all know who room this is because y'all see all the stuff uh so when he comes over he'll be able to have a little room of course he'll probably still try to sleep in my bed but i still gotta put this television together guys and unbox it and all this other stuff and i think the reason why i haven't really unboxed this television yet is because i got to thinking about this table right here this table stand that wouldn't be a smart thing for me to put that television on this table stand for a kid's room because they could easily climb up there and hurt themselves and fall off but anyway so that's what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna use that same toolkit i uh, bought that i used for the ring camera and get this right here the way that it should be and see if we can get our first television mounted on the wall so i'm gonna take you guys outside and show you the ring camera real quick and as long as i got my phone see if it works the again this is the tool set that i use you guys can actually look at these drill bits if you look really really close you will see this drill bit is dirty from the concrete this drill bit is dirty from the concrete i had to actually use two different drill bits i used the first drill bit to like make the hole and then once I got it in, I went ahead and switched over to a 3 16th drill bit for the concrete. And I made the hole a little bit wider. So let's go out here and check it out, guys. Put it to the test. Put it to the test and see what's up. So now I will be able to see who the freak comes to my freaking door. Let's go out here. Okay, so we out. Remember I showed you about 20, 30 minutes ago in the video. I had the old ring, the old um, thing, doorbell. It was just a regular white doorbell. Push the button, dong, dong. Now I have this ring doorbell installed. So let's see if we can get an alert on my phone. Here we go. Press the button, it turns blue. Oh, there it is right there, guys. Motion popped up right there. You guys see that? It says motion detected at, oh, oh, it also says someone is at your, hold on. It says someone is at your door, blink video doorbell. So let's go in here, unlock the phone, and let's see what type of footage it shows us. That way I will know if I successfully have this installed right. I'm really excited. Let's get my phone open, unlocked. And let's see what happens. Let's lay that down so you guys can see it. Right there, that surely looks like me. Let's see, I'm still learning how to work this thing. Oh, here we go. 6.04 p.m. doorbell. Oh, there it is. There it is right there, guys. That's me holding the camera. Oops. Motion popped up right there. You guys see that? Look at that. It says motion detected at, oh, oh, it also says someone is at your home. It says someone is at nice, your clear door quality. Door so let's go in here. It films in 1080p, so perfectly. So yeah, you can see a little bit of my background in my neighborhood, but it's not really a big deal because yeah, boy is not hiding from no one, man. So anyway, guys, I did it myself. I went on YouTube. I typed in how to install a ring doorbell you know, by yourself. So I went out, I bought the drill. It came with some other stuff that I needed to be able to drill the holes. I did it myself. The video I watched on YouTube was a really quick tutorial. And this is when I said, when I lived in the house before, I used to fix my own stuff, man. So this is a huge proud moment for your boy, man. But comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video. Now I don't have to worry about someone ringing my doorbell and me not knowing who's at my door because now I know who it is without even answering a door. And the beautiful thing about this doorbell, I can be anywhere. I can be in Indiana with Darian and I can see who's outside my door. I also have a motion sensor activated on there. So if somebody even walks up to my porch without ringing a doorbell, it's gonna snap multiple, multiple pictures of them. So this is what I said about the scammy, man. Like they wanted to run credit checks they wanted to charge me five or six hundred dollars for installation fees and all this and it took me what just the better part of an hour to do all this man 
That's what I'm talking about. So now I'm no longer in fear about a stranger walking up to my door. And if a stranger does come up to my door, I'll get the feed to my phone and I can be able to have a very, very response time to the situation if I feel like that I'm in danger or my life is threatened. But anyway, man, comment down below if you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Until next time, this is your boy Damian Cryer, and I am out. Peace.